Welcome to part 11. 11 is our Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, so we're going to be going to Foothill Stable. Or actually we are at Foot Foothill Stable. We're going to be going to Goron City. And the first step is to talk to this lady here. Wait a minute. Okay, I want to make sure I have Blizzard Rod and the Frost Spear when going to Goron City. I currently don't have my Master Sword, but it will be available in 33 seconds. I used up its power in the last video. So, the first thing you want to do is talk to this lady. Should I go ahead and buy all three of them? No. So, the elixir will protect you as far as Goron City. Once you get further, like closer to the volcano, you're going to need more than just one level of fire resistance. But when you get to Goron City, you can buy fireproof clothing. And I'm going to go ahead and sit next to the fire until morning. So I like to go early in the morning so it doesn't turn nighttime. And we got a blood moon. I'm going to skip through it though. So you can skip the cutscenes of the Blood Moon by pressing X and then plus. You're not skipping the effects of the Blood Moon though. All the enemies will still respawn. But you just won't have to watch the annoying cutscene. Oh, my Master Sword's restored. You get some Sun Shrooms down here too. So anyway... You could actually take a shortcut. You can go from Elden Tower and just glide right here, but I prefer to take the path all the way because you can get a lot of gemstones. There's also a couple guardians you can fight on the way. But if you're trying to avoid guardians, it might be best to take the shortcut. This water you see here with the steam coming in it, you can go on that water if your heart if you're low on hearts and it'll recharge them. I'll demonstrate. Okay, that only took half a heart, but you go on the water. And it just refilled it. Okay, see right there is a Goron. We'll be seeing a lot of them when we get there. There's a lot of fireproof lizards. They're kind of hard to catch though. It's easier to shoot them with an arrow. And pick them up. And you get like these Roadrunner, Roadrunner type things. That's why I like the Frost Spear and the Blizzard Rod, because you got a lot of fiery enemies. You do that too. 
up this guardian. Now I'm trying to collect ancient cores and ancient shafts. Sometimes it's hard to follow the path. You want to keep an eye on your mini-map down there every now and then. my heart that I lost. Oh, what are these? I'll bet you. This has to do with the core oxy because there's a lot of them. Captured memory in this video too. Actually, take a look at what one I'm going to be getting. This one right here. Drop some weapons. Whoops. I'm going to pick them up. That way, when I want to switch back and forth between the three, they're all right at the end. So, those are the ones I use the most in this region. Try to hit those with the regular spear. Most likely the flames will still hit you. I'll demonstrate. Well, I guess if you run away.
bunch of goodies. Seriously, these bats are getting really annoying. Okay, <clears throat> behind this rock wall is a bunch of choo choos. That's what, here's where I use the borders rod. Here it's gonna start getting hot. Wanna make sure you don't have anything wooden equipped when you're in the fire region. That includes bows, weapons, shields. Now the falcon bow and the great eagle bow are both wooden bows, so you don't want want to use those. I don't have any wooden shields. And it looks like I don't have any wooden weapons. Okay, there I gotta drink my elixir. <sighs> See, it says you'll take damage, but that message was triggered to pop up before I drank the elixir. Try not to walk in those fiery areas. Okay, that other guardian is up here. I might use an ancient arrow on this one. Try to stay, usually he always goes downhill. Either if he's up here he goes that way, if he's up here he goes that way, so I always try to be below him so I can get all his parts before they go falling off the cliff or anything. Seriously, I only got two ambers out of a rare or deposit. Okay, these metal crates up here, there's a Lizalfo. Here's a trick I always like to do. Get my Thunder Blade. You gonna come over and investigate.
get some shock arrows here. Seriously? See when you see the smoke coming up out of the food or any items, if you don't pick it up quick enough it will burn. Okay, we're not going to get that shrine quite, quite yet. Okay, you see that right there? We got some octo rocks in this region that inhale heat and shoot bombs at you. But if you throw a bomb at them and let them suck it in, you can blow it up when it gets in their mouth. I didn't get those ones in time. Okay, that big yellow rock you see right there is a stone talus, so I usually stay kind of towards the right. My fire resistance or flame guard, whatever you want to call it, is about to run out. Got a minute left, about. But I got two more elixirs. Here's a southern mine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take another elixir. Okay, now if you, okay, what you wanna do, now building Terrytown, you remember that Hudson said he needs a Goron with the name ending in Sun. Well, one of those are him, but you can only talk to him at night time. So I'm going to sit here until night and talk to him. Can't remember. I think it's this one. Yeah. Yep, Grayson.
so it just gets up on the spot besides uh -huh. the lead count and everything. Thing. I'm not going to make plans, just heard about this place, they're going to leave. And these big ones you can't break. they got to be the shiny ones. Pretty soon there's going, going to be a magma bombing where you're going to see all these balls of lava shoot, landing around. So you're going to want to take cover. There's certain spots where it happens. City. I guess not really a gate, but an opening. Now we're going to get to see the Divine Beast, Baurudanya. Okay, so we're going to buy this. Yeah. And this. Just like cold resistance, you only need two levels of fire resistance, so, so there's really no point in spending 2,000 rupees for the flame breaker helm. Your collector who wants to collect them. Hey! That's 
that's the boss, Bluto, right there. We're going to talk to him in the next video when we want to do the Divine Beast mission. Let's go ahead and get our heart container. Again, the general idea is to shoot that with fire, put the barrel on top of this button, keep that door open, but you can just use stasis too.
do that. I just wanted to show what you could. You can just do the same, same thing with this button, put it in stasis. frames in this game as I mentioned back in probably video number three or four around there. One of those is the Kami Tax Shrine right by Central Tower. And the other one is this way. Take this mine cart right into there. Okay, there's two ways. That was weird. Two ways to get this thing moving. You can use bombs. Drop them inside the little carriage type deal. And there's also stasis, but if you use stasis, you don't want to hit it too many times or you go flying right off the track. Three should be good enough. It seems like when you drop it in the back end, it goes flying. I might get rid of one of my knights bows for it. I sure maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just mark it on the map. Okay, there's a torch up here we need. I want to go ahead and get rid of my guardian sword because I can get another one at the end of the shrine. Thank you. 
I like to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and here's where, here's where the falcon bow comes in handy. You just want to make sure you unequip it when you leave the shrine. It's safe to use inside the shrine, but when you get outside of the shrine, it will burn up. big spiky metal ball going down. Right there, but it's a forest dweller spear. I 
don't have room for it. This is always kind of fun to do. swing the water will put them out and you have to try again. Okay, after you get that lit, go ahead and get rid of your torch. And place it with one of these weapons, I think. The axe is stronger, but I prefer the one-handed weapons. Yeah, see, I really don't have many one-handed weapons. Well, I guess I got two good swords, but I'd like to save them for tougher enemies. Oh, I actually remembered. I'm going to switch my bow. shrine in here but we're gonna wait till next video to get that when we're actually gonna go board the divine beast right now I'm gonna go get that shrine that we heard beeping earlier that I said that we'd come back to I'm going to go to Kakariko Village to get my heart container and then we'll fight the guardians outside once again. Since we've seen the blood moon, we know they respond. 
Then I'll go get my capture memory. Check this out, small key. That key is like up to almost up to his waist, and that's a small key. I hate to see what a big key looks like. Okay, yeah, that's a nice claymore, but you get more than fifteen heart. Heart containers will be a golden or a royal claymore. So if I were to get my heart container and come back, it would change. And get those barrels all out of there. Let's set this right here. See, the first time I did the shrine, I didn't even think about putting a block on here. I just put those two on there, and I hurried up and jumped off before it pushed me all the way up with the spikes. And it's funny, because some of these shrines are like the simplest, most common sense things, but a lot of times you're always... thinking yourself like maybe it's a trick. Sometimes the most obvious thing to do isn't always the best. Okay, I'll go ahead and show this part. This is kind of cool. Example. Beat him up with the block.
You know what's funny is if you fall in this lava, all you'll do is lose one heart and they'll put you back to wherever you fell off of. Yet early in the game, if you fall off a tower and hit the ground, you'll die. I mean, I think for something like that, for falling in lava, you should actually lose all your hearts and die. Because even if I were, let's say I was like, jumped off a mountain and landed, I would lose like, if, if I wasn't wearing any armor, I would lose all my hearts. Okay, I just barely touched the lava. So in other words, it's deadlier. To fall from a great height rather than, than to fall in lava. See, I don't understand why that stuff doesn't burn while it's on his body. The tail, the horn, and the talon. I usually don't go this way, but. I'm kind of curious as if there's anything cool. Oh, you know what? This leads me right back to the cave where I first came in at. If I came from that way instead of this way. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go to Kakariko Village. Get our goodies. Yeah, it's been kind of a rough day. Dropped my car off at the mechanic, one of my cars, and because I just got it like three months ago. It's an old car, it's a 2002. But I took it to the mechanic because I knew it made the brakes felt a little rough on it. It felt like the rotors were rubbing. So I thought maybe a couple hundred bucks for new brake pads and rotors. And according to $2,000 worth of work that needed to be done to it. So, that's not happening though. I'll take it to a mechanic I trust and give a second opinion. Okay, now we got 15, do this, 15 heart containers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Anyway, the only reason I took it to that mechanic was because they're the only ones open on the weekends. And it's really close to my storage garage. Got my car off the mechanic, walked to my storage, and grabbed another vehicle out. parts I have. I'm getting a lot of ancient shafts which is good. I need 45 though for to upgrade all my armors and I need a total of 15 ancient cores so I'm kind of far from that. Hopefully I get some out of these guardians here. Yeah, 
I got the car for free from my dad because he's gonna he bought a new car. I was gonna give that one to the junk here, but I told him I'd take it just so I had another backup. Other than that, I just got my summer car, which I've had for 18 years. My Firebird which is always my dream car. Then there's my huge truck, which is I use for the wintertime four-wheel drive with 33 inch tires. Truck rebuilt. 79 frame and 84 body. Whoa. Guardians, I, this video that I didn't get any ancient cores out of. I'm going to start keeping track because it seems like they know what you need and they're not going to give it to you. There you go. Core deposits have a free spawn. Oh, that one has. There's probably not much in it though. It seems like when you, whenever you get it, like soon after you've gotten it already. Probably be like flint or rock salt. Oh, there was one amber in there. I mean, I was like, he was like right up next to me when he shot me. Wouldn't that blast have blown himself up? I shot three ancient arrows at him. There's one ancient arrow, but this bow shoots three.
There's nothing already in behind Kakariko Village. I don't feel like going all the way back there. I think I did get this Korok seed, didn't I? Yep, I got it. Bridge down there. I was thinking of it, I was looking at it from the wrong angle. Okay, let's go get my captured memory. some of my monster parts quite yet. Wow. Yeah. See, I think I'm easily going to hit 10,000 rupees without selling the monster parts. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not necessarily this time. Wow. But before I get the final fairy fountain, wow. which will be in video 14, Tell us. <laughs> okay, now what we want to do is trigger a shrine quest. Talk to this lady that says a sacred article above her, above her head. Ok, 
Okay, so you choose this area. Necessarily need to trigger the train quest, but I just like to. You know what? Let's put my horse in the stable on here. Ah. Quest without triggering it, triggering it, but I just like to see it say complete. Okay, one thing I guess I should mention that when doing the shrine quest, you want Dinrail scale. That's why you s had seen me earlier shoot the scale off the Dragon Dinrail, which is right here. I usually like to get the scales earlier in the game so that way I have them when I'm doing the shrine quest. Simple cobbles down here with horses too. Go ahead and take the horses from them. which I'm, I'll probably end up shooting them down. First we're going to get our captured memory, then we'll complete the shrine quest. Please! 
Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? Take the scale. Test of strength. Way up here that we haven't done yet. We we'll have at some point.
care too much for the guardian shield, that's why I got rid of the other one for that one. I don't seem to have as much luck with them. I like to always have one though in case it is like you're in a thunderstorming area and you can't use, can't use your metal ones. Go visit Hudson again. He's gonna want some more wood, and then he's gonna tell me to find him a someone from Gerudo Town. See how much wood I have. 27 bundles. I think he asked for like 10 more bundles or something. It might be 20. I want to visit Kilton too and sell him all my monster stuff.
Hilton down. He's there already. Oh, it's because it's night now it's 9 p.m. I wanted to see him appear. I'm not, I've never seen it before. I don't know if he just like appears or is it like slowly. Okay, he'll only accept monster stuff. <coughs> Guardian stuff's also considered monster stuff, but... I won't be selling him much as far as guardian stuff, except for maybe some ancient gears, but like the sh I need the shafts, the springs, the screws, the ancient quarters, and the giant ancient quarters. buy some dark armor from him which is pretty cool you can make you run faster like walk faster at night that looks cool too but I don't think it's available until after you have freed all four divine beast another cool thing you can buy is a bokoblin mask you can walk around bokoblins in that mask and they won't attack you they'll think you're one of them they also have Moblin Mask, the Lizalfo Mask, Lino Mask. Price he gives aren't the same as rupees. So it kind of feels like you're getting ripped off when you compare the price to rupees. I think I need 4,000 mon to get the ancient, or the dark clothing.
Oscar parts, but it doesn't seem like I have much mud. story. So I'm going to buy, here's all the stuff they got. You can buy monster stuff for your horse too. I'm going to buy a Bokoblin mask. <laughs> That's all I'm going to buy for now and I'll get the dark series when it's out. Okay, so, I didn't get to get those. I wish there was a shrine up there in Terrytown. Leaf, but I don't really want to get rid of it. I don't really don't want to get rid of anything for it.
Ooh. Sapphire underneath it. Starting to rain. Push my garden shield. And look, I don't want to break one of my one of the ones I like. I think, yeah, I got enough to upgrade one of my ancient things so I can go to a fairy fountain. I'm not 
sure which one to go to though. I haven't been to this one out here in a while. and shield stash expanded one more time too, but I can only do one of them for now. I need one more core seed. Because the bow stash will cost me one, the shield stash will cost me two. I'll go ahead and the bow stash for now. down here and then there's a couple of oh there's a couple enemy camps down here too
think it's like somewhere around here. size on your map too you could pretty easy to locate just by the shape. So I'm gonna go to this one first where I could see it, then I'll go to that one.
Yeah, this is the one that's got those alphas around it, but not in it. Well, that's weird. Never seen a lizard up there before. Cowboy mask on. them than me.
lot more hearts than I was expecting. Okay, let's see what I want to do now. I got still got four minutes approximately. Let's see if I got time to get a shrine. Actually, I think I'm just going to go to Goron City. What if Kilton is up there? He should be. I know where to find Kilton in pretty much every village except for Goron City. And Rico Village, but I know where to find him. Kakariko Village, Hatino Village, Lurellan Village, Gerudo Town, Terry Town. We haven't seen Gerudo Town yet. That'll be coming up though in part 14. It's not quite, is it? Can you tell if it's 940 or 840? 945? Yep, so he should be somewhere out. He's usually not directly in a village, he's usually just outside of it. seeing him. see him by his purple glow. Well, I don't think we're going to find him, so... here we've got rock salt, fire arrows, ice arrows, Goron spice. What does that do? So apparently it doesn't have any like resistance or anything. Okay, we're gonna go find blue oil. And we know we're going to stop there. There he is. Okay, so in the next video, when we continue, we're going to talk to Bluto, which will trigger the Divine Beast mission. We have to find a guy named Unobo. Bring him back. We'll see the cutscene of the Divine, Divine Beast and the Champion Daru. There's a statue of him. Oh. 
Well, there's like dip multiple heads up there, but he's up there somewhere. Anyway, hope you're enjoying the game. See you in the next video.